Hello guys, I got two brand new Amiibo which are released alongside with Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser Fury. The Amiibo is Cat Mario and Cat Peach. But before we unbox the Amiibo, let's see the game first. Okay guys, this is the game. And I pre-ordered the game from Nintendo Korea. So it said Hangul Go Down here, which means Korean language available. And I just realized the title for Korean version is Fury World, not uh, Bowser's Fury. And it's also written in Korean language here, Fury World, which is not Bowser's Fury. I'm not sure about the title, maybe the Japanese title is also Fury World. Because usually a Korean game tend to follow the Japanese title. So I'm not sure about Japanese title. For those who know, please write in the comment. I also want to know and this is the bad side of the game. Okay guys, uh, before we open the game, let's see what I got for pre-order this game. And because I pre-order this game, Nintendo Korea gave me the fridge magnet. At first I thought only each piece are the magnet but all of them are the fridge magnet. So let's open it. Okay guys, this is all the fridge magnet. Okay, I'm not gonna take out uh, each pieces because I will save all of the other pieces. It look better this way. And I don't know why they didn't put Ros Cat Rosalina here. Because we all already know that Rosalina is in the game. Why Nintendo? <laughs> why hide it from us? We already know about Rosalina. So I just gonna stick them together like this. Okay guys, uh, give me a second to open the uh, game. Okay guys, uh, so this is the game. Super Mario 3D World plus uh, Bowser's Fury. Let's ignore the Korean title Fury World. <laughs> okay, uh, let's open the game. Oh, okay and this is the cartridge. The cartridge only has the title, but no art uh, in the cartridge. Camera, please focus. Okay, this is the cartridge. Yeah, that's it for the game, and let's see the amiibo. Okay, guys, uh, let's see the cat amiibo first. The cat amiibo is great for me. I think it's great. The design is uh, good and. This is the bad side for the amiibo. And for this amiibo, you can get the white cat Mario, which is sad by the way because you can only unlock this uh, power up from the amiibo. Yeah, Nintendo really locked this power up, so you can only get it from cat Mario amiibo, which is sad by the way because not everybody can get this power up and you cannot get it anyway in the game hmm. okay guys uh, let's see the catfish amiibo and this is the catfish amiibo okay and this is the back for the amiibo for the catfish amiibo we can get random power up so it's not that great actually <laughs> to get uh, just random power up and give me a second uh, for me to unbox the amiibo. Alright guys, I already unboxed both of the amiibo and let's see Cat Mario first. Okay. The post for Cat Mario is the same as in the box art. And Cat Mario has fur so they really did a great job for the fur. The fur is really in detail and I really like the design for the fur and yeah and the plastic also feel nice it doesn't feel like plastic hmm. and then for the face of Mario 
it's also grey in detail and you can see the mouth of Mario it's not just a painting you can see the inside of the mouth there and for the Mario series Amiibo the base is red as usual and that's it guys for the Mario Amiibo you can see the front uh, post and then this is the back post for Mario Amiibo okay for the cat pitch Mario once again the fur is really really great and in detail the feel of touching it is so satisfying it doesn't feel like a plastic and the face for Peach is also great but one thing that really uh, turned me off about Cat Peach Amiibo is the pose the pose is really really like a generic cat pose it's not that great compared to the pose of uh, Cat Mario but overall this Amiibo is really really good it feels really nice and if we compare to Cat Mario Amiibo Cat Peach Amiibo seems a little bit small compared to Cat Mario I don't know maybe because of the post and that's it guys which Amiibo do you think the best between these two personally I think Cat Mario is better than uh, Cat Peach yeah, they are both great but I prefer Cat Mario more compared to Cat Peach. Okay guys, that's it for Cat Mario and Cat Peach Amiibo. I hope you guys enjoy watching this Amiibo. And as a bonus guy, I will also unlock these two Amiibo. Urbosa and Wolfling Amiibo. I have got uh, these two Amiibo, Urbosa. They are released for Breath of the Wild in 2018 and this uh, Wolfling Amiibo I have got this Amiibo for a long time but I haven't unboxed it yet Okay guys, give me a second to unbox these two Amiibo And here we have Urbosa's Amiibo Urbosa is uh, one of my favorite characters in Breath of the Wild and the pose for Urbosa is great I didn't even realize that uh, she has Daybreaker Shield in her Amiibo yeah it's so good but one thing the face is not that great at <laughs> maybe because it's uh, an old Amiibo so the face is not uh, that detailed but overall the pose and the feel for this Champion Gob is really really good and let's move on to the Wolfling Amiibo okay guys Wolfling Amiibo might be my favorite Amiibo so far which I have and then Wolfling also has fur and the fur is also great and it's really satisfying to touch and also the pose is really really good and the design like the stone and uh, the whole wolf and also the design for Mina is also great okay this is uh, my best I think this is my favorite amiibo in terms of design and it also feel really nice and you can also feel the weight for this amiibo this amiibo is a little big I bought this Amiibo because the design is so great and Twilight Princess is one of my favorite Zelda game. Oh, look at me now. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for my Cat Mario and Cat Peach Amiibo unboxing. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And which one of the Cat Mario and Cat Peach do you like the most? Feel free to give your opinion in the comment below. And if you like the video, give a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Umarikano Games. Okay guys, that's it from me. See you guys later. Bye!